Jason, I know that Herco North America is a channel that follow our channel, so it's good to uh, communicate with you today and talk to you about this new machine. What do you know about the BX50? Well, uh, the BX50 is a, a newer model for Herco. Um, we had a lot of customers that wanted a little bit more Y-axis travel uh, than you can typically get with a C-frame design. Um, you know, with this machine, we're kind of targeting the, uh, the mold makers and the aerospace. Um, it's got an 18,000 RPM high-speed spindle, so uh, it uh, fits very well for those markets. We talk about the Y-axis. I mean, this has got 950 in the Y-axis. That, that's huge, isn't it? Uh, that is a lot, um, and that's why the uh, design of the machine had to change. Uh, if you look at it, we've got the, the columns, the dual columns, of bridge. Uh, that allows for both ends to be supported. And that means that wherever you're machining, whichever part of the table you're machining on, you've got the same rigidity, haven't you? Because the bridge obviously moves and the, the um, spindle moves across the top of the bridge. So that rigidity is key. Exactly. It's all about rigidity and, and be able to uh, move very quickly. And you've also got a lot of power on this machine. I know on the spec, 35 kilos, 47 horsepower spindle. That's a direct inline spindle, is it? Correct, yes. Our uh, 18,000 RPM HSK spindle. 18,000 RPM, so you've got power and, and speed. Access is also important to machines like this, and this is accessible by both a front and a side door. Do you, do you think that's an, another attractive feature? Uh, it definitely is. Uh, on this and the smaller version, uh, getting large parts in was a big consideration. Uh, you'll notice on the big machine, the front doors open very wide. Uh, you can get cranes, those type of things in. Uh, on the smaller version, the entire front side of the machine, or corner of the machine, is open to get large parts in. When did Herco launch this machine? It's, it's probably been around, uh, I would say, two years now, two and a half maybe. And do you think, are there other models that, that, that uh, are in this range that go bigger or, you yes, know? To... Um, we've got the BX40, uh, this is the 50, and we are going to release a BX60 uh, as well. Uh, right, okay, and cutting feed rates as well. Uh, I see 39 meters a minute cutting feed rates. Just, can you just explain how fast that is really in general terms? Uh, for the most part, uh, you don't need that much speed, but you know, when you do, you do. Um, uh, and the way we spec the machines is being able to hit that feed rate with the max weight on the table. So you can put uh, heavy parts on the table, still achieve the, uh, the fast feed rates. Uh, especially helpful in the mold industries. And over in, in America, is the control as popular over there as, as it is here in the UK? People love the Herco control, don't they? Uh, yeah, they do, and it's, uh, it's definitely popular. It's uh, the one thing that uh, we can always show off and know that uh, we're going to gain new fans. So yes, they, they really like it. 